So here we have a sphere with a light on it and you can see as I pan up that we have a light source shining directly down on it from above. And you can tell where your light source is depending on where you see the light hitting your object, or in this case, the sphere. And we know the light is shining from above because we can see pure light here, and the bottom part's a little bit darker, and we have a shadow on the table. Light travels in straight rays, and it hits the object first, but it also hits the table and reflects up onto the bottom of the object. So you see this light right here in this area, and you'll notice it even more. You can tell, because I, if I take a piece of paper and I cover it, you can see that light at the bottom of the ball disappears. But as I remove the paper, you can see there's light there, and that's light that's reflecting off the surface of the table onto the ball. This reflective light happens in different areas. It's not always in the exact same spot, but it's something to know and be aware of. Notice how it's not as bright as the light on the top because the light is hitting this area directly. So here we're looking at a photograph of the sphere that we were looking at earlier and I wanted to go over how the light is traveling and why we see the values we see. So if our light source is from above, we have light hitting the object directly straight down and because this is the highest point of our object facing the light directly, this is our brightest area, so this is our highlight. As the light hits the object and the object is rounding down because it's not facing the object directly, so this is moving away from the object, we have less light hitting this area. So we'll start to see it fade and start transitioning from a 0% value to a 10, 20, 30, maybe even 40% value. And this happens on both sides so we can see how the light is affecting our sphere. Then we have a shadow here. This is our core shadow. It's the darkest area of our object because no light is hitting it directly. This is the round part of the ball and it's, it's not in the direct path of the light. But do you see this light area here? This is what we call reflective light, and what is happening is that our light is traveling down, it's hitting the surface of our table, and reflecting back up and hitting the bottom of our sphere. So sometimes our reflective light will be in one area, and depending on how close the light is, so if our light was really close to our object, our reflective light might be a lot brighter, you know, the further away our light source is, then the darker our values will be. And then here's our cast shadow. And our cast shadow will change depending on how the light is hitting the object and the table. If the light's really close, we'll have this crisp edge to our shadow. If the light is further away, it'll be nice and blurry. But you can also see that on our table, even though our table is flat, a flat surface, it's not going to be pure white like the top part of our sphere um, because this is closer to our light source, so this is going to be a lighter value. But on the table, you can see that it's lighter here still darker than our highlight, but lighter here, and then it starts to get darker here. So there's less light hitting this um, 
this area of our table and same here it starts to travel a little bit down here starts to get darker so even though our surface is flat it's still going to change from light to dark in different areas.